Hey guys, Jason coming back at you again with another recent finds videos right now. So I've got a collection here of a few different things. Uh, the first off is, to my surprise, there was a sidewalk, do sidewalk dollar sale going on at Half Price Books last weekend when I was just taking some books that we weren't going to read again to half price to get a few bucks and boxes and boxes and boxes were set out of records and a lot of stuff I hadn't seen before I'm guessing they bought a huge collection so they had all of these for a dollar so I think I picked up I don't know probably 20 to 30 somewhere in that neighborhood uh, so I'm going to show you some of those and then a few other ones that have been uh, recent finds from other places well maybe Amazon or uh, uh, garage sales or whatever and finally, today, I've had some really cool finds at Goodwill with something I don't usually do, uh, but some cool 45s, especially some older ones. Um, so let's go ahead and jump through those really quick and get going. Um, up first, we have Fugitive by the Fugitives. Freeway is on the other side. Uh, most of the stuff I found was like 50s stuff um, and I honestly went for some just because of the label maybe I hadn't seen before um, but that looked interesting to me uh, the Toon Rockers warm up and the Green Mosquito um, this is on United which that's a United label I hadn't seen now Roulette is one that I definitely enjoy a lot of the stuff that I found on there um, this is Buddy Knox um, to be with you and then on the other side is I think I'm gonna kill myself um, some of these are pretty interesting. When I looked up on Discogs, not a lot of people had them. Um, Ronnie Hawkins, one of these days. And then on the other side, 40 days. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, but. Um, Johnny and the Hurricanes, Red River Rock. I don't know if I'm doing this very well. I don't 45 very often, as you can tell. Um, and then Buckeye, which that's the reason I had to get that one, right? Cool bucks. Um, Ray Charles, uh, what did I say on Atlantic? Uh, this one was a uh, pickup based off a few of these were based off of the uh, labels. This one, obviously, one that we've heard of before, but this is on Chancellor. This is Frankie Avalon. Um, this one is Bobby Sox, the Stockings, and then a Boy Without a Girl. Uh, and so clearly, there was a, I mean, there was probably two or three hundred. Um, records in there several I hadn't heard of but I just tried to get a nice little mix pay 25 cents a piece for these so three dollars and 25 cents is all I paid for all of these 45s I just dropped one no all right search is over Jimmy Jones and handyman this is on cub cub label uh, Rolling Stone something special on ace records this is a cool one this is definitely a cool one um, and then Desert Winds on H Record. Um, that's a cool label. I hadn't. I don't think I have anything on that. A few more here. These were in sleeves. Um, some funk and some jazz and uh, some that you maybe have heard of before. But up first, this is on OK Records. Um, have never seen that. Oh, there we go. And. This is Major Lance. Uh, Crying in the Rain is on one side. And then, um, what's the other one? Hey, Little Girl on the other. Um, one that you may or may not have heard of on Columbia. Guy named Bob Dylan. Um, really cool find. Super clean. Super clean copy of uh, Like a Rolling Stone. You guys can see that doesn't need much cleaning at all. Uh, Columbia and then uh, on this side Gates of Eden um, Bob Dylan so quarter well spent uh, up next is Ramsey Lewis trio and this is on Argo uh, another another cool label there uh, songs are the in crowd and since I fell for you so Oh wait, one more here, one more, sorry. Picture sleeve. I have this comp somewhere, I think, the heavy metal. Um, this one has um, Diva working in the coal mine and then uh, Planet Earth. 
So $3 invested in that little stack of 45s. Again, I don't usually do 45s, but I was just really intrigued when I saw how old some of those, uh, you know, there's some doo-wop in there, some rockabilly stuff, uh, stuff that I just normally don't see when I'm looking through those. So uh, now we're gonna start on that dollar sale and see what we got here. Uh, now, the condition on almost every one of these is excellent, if not better. The Marshall Crenshaw here. Um, and this is self-titled. What was the big song on here? Um, come on, come on, what is it? Is it Someday, Someway? I'm drawing a blank here. One of his biggest songs is on this one for a dollar. Another Marshall Crenshaw, uh, Mary Jean and Nine Others, and The Shrink Still. Marshall Crenshaw. Oh man, that, I hate it when that happens when you get it and it's fine. This is field day, Very. this, this is the one you see a lot. Uh, now, is this my genre of what I would typically pick out? No, but this is a pretty complete little collection of Marshall Crenshaw and, and the condition is really great. And at a buck a piece, I'm gonna take a chance on it. This is downtown. I mean, inner original inner sleeves, everything just in really, really impeccable condition. So I have to, I have to, I can't not. Uh, up next, Blind Buy for me, Michael Hedges live on the Double Planet. Um, this has him doing, I noticed the first one right away, which is why I took a chance on it, but he's got all along the watchtower on side one. And a great little MoFi sleeve. This is a Wyndham Hill record. Um, but, man, I love that sleeve. And then, oh, cool. Let's have that promo on that. Uh, up next, really surprised to find this for a dollar. I think they kind of screwed up. Um, but this is the Checkmates LTD Limited FSO. Um, again, another one. I don't see ring wear. I don't see... I mean, the binding is still pretty solid on that. Um, this has the original inner sleeve. It's got members of the band. Um, I think this is like a $15 or $20 record. And then this is, I mean, it's really minty. It just has dust on it. Um, but this is on Rustic Records, which is cool because I haven't seen anything on that. Um, so that's a really cool find. Finally sold off some old uh, audio equipment, some stereos and some speakers and all that to get that uh, listening room ready. And as I was doing that, I was taking stuff out to the trash, and my neighbor came over and started talking. We've only been in this neighborhood for about six months, this older guy. And he starts telling me about his collection, and his big thing is reel-to-reel -reel tapes. And I'm like, awesome. And he starts telling me about his records. So I connected with him a little bit, started talking, and he's got all kinds of stuff. He's like, well, I only have a few hundred records, but it's the best stuff. I'm really into the reel-to-reel, -reel, so uh, hopefully we'll get to take a look at that and uh, bring you guys along with me. Shirley Basie, live at Carnegie Hall. Uh, did not have this. And for a dollar, this is the 2LP set. Uh, worth picking that up. All right. Because that's worth at least $2. See, I did there a double my money. Pretty smart like that. Great find. Paul Simon. Minty, minty clean. Um, really, really great. I mean, this is unplayed. This is unplayed from Columbia. Um, super excited to find that one. Uh, another one, the next the next few here. Honestly, I just got excited. So this is the Todd Rundgren. Um, I mean, the condition on this is unreal. Uh, this is a 1974, two LP, um, Bearsville. This is live, I believe. And then it still has the original insert in here with like a poster on this side. And then on this side, um, it has like credits and all that, but then it's a picture of him. So it's a mosaic piece. It's pretty cool. Um, several of you commented as saying that you're you're Todd Rundgren fans, big fans of him. So uh, when I saw that one, I had to pick that one up. And I'll mess with that later. Joe Walsh, the Confessor in shrink. I mean, a dollar. I don't know why they didn't. Two or three bucks, they're still going to sell them, I would think. They were just trying to make a little money before record store day, I think. Uh, 
since they weren't going to do a whole lot there. Now, this is my first uh, Portuguese pressing, <laughs> best of Joe Walsh. That's one way to start. Uh, it's got the top lighting deal there, and then it's on ABC Records, made in Portugal. Just a few more here. Glen Campbell, Southern Nights, original department store hype sticker. Um, still in shrink. On the Capital, Orange Capital label. Condition of these is great. I, the only thing I figured out is they just bought a huge collection and they were just trying to get some money right away. Probably a lot. Well, they probably gave 10 cents a piece for them. Um, this is out of the basement collection I showed you guys a while back. George Benson. Good King Bad. Um, now this is a Benson I hadn't seen very many of. So um, I have several of his other, other records, but this is one I really hadn't seen very much at all. It's on CTI Records um, on that yellow and brown label. Oops. ZZ Top Eliminator. This is a Mexican pressing. Uh, it was part of that basement collection I bought several months ago. Uh, surprisingly, I think that was the only import in there at all. So that was a little bit weird. Got uh, Angel Claire. This is the Garfunkel album, obviously, but the original inner sleeves. Um, you can tell them when I ran out of outer sleeves, it was like a month ago. I need to get some more uh, on the Columbia. Jim Croce, I've got a name. Some big Croce fans, too, out there. ABC Records, Minty. Oh yeah, Genesis, uh, Trespass. Um, condition of this is awesome too. This is on the MCA Rainbow label. Um, good find, and we got two, three more, three more here. Neil Young, self-title. Um, now I think this was a reissue because I don't think this white border was with the original pressing, I think. I think that's correct. This is 1972. Um, oh, I got this one sideways. Dang it, I hate it when I do that. Almost there. There we go. Um, really good find. I think these were like, any of these that I say are from the basement collection, I don't think I spent more than 50 cents a piece for them. Um, or no, I didn't spend more than a dollar for them. I think I got like 130 records for 100 bucks. Um, that's the one that had a bunch of Zappa in it. Then, I know, I know. Uh, some compilations I'll hang on to. This is one. So what all does this have on it? Um, I don't It has the straws on it. Maybe that was why. I don't know why I'm hanging on to this. Maybe it was for uh, Hall & Oates. Who knows? Who knows? And then one last one here as I put this away and acknowledge that I'm just kind of blabbering today. And I think I need another coffee. I'm dragging, I'm dragging, but I'm here. Uh, Ryan Adams Gold. This is a two LP set. I got this on Amazon. I really enjoy this. Um, for me, it's in the same vein with like a Tom Petty. I, see, I hear a lot of those influences. Um, so one of them's got that custom uh, diamond suit. And then the other one, if I can get to it. I probably can't because it's one of those days. And the other one's in here. The other one's in here. But anyway, got several more updates to give you. Um, this whole section, which I need to straighten up right there, are all ones that I've recently brought in. So uh, you'll be seeing all those. Here's the other side of it. That's got spade and clubs on that. But anyway, keep spinning. Take care. Have a great one. Bye.